Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got this cute little thinking of you. Spread your wings and fly with a ladybug fun folds card. This was our card for coffee and a card yesterday. If you live in the Chicago area and you're interested in stamping up in-person events, you can email Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com or check out KitchenTableStamper.com slash calendar for a calendar of local events. Let's get started with this card. I want to go through our paper um, supplies here and some measurements. The first thing I have here is our card base and this is a piece of real red cardstock. It's four and a quarter by 11. So it's a half a sheet cut hot dog way. All right. Our designer series papers. Now the measurements for all of these um, pieces are on the kitchen table stamper.com there's this principal project sheet so you can use this no need to write down these measurements now in fact I use the project sheet as a cheat sheet when I'm doing videos so our designer series papers are from the honey bee collection designer series paper this is a new celebration paper you can't buy this paper but you can earn it for free with your $50 order we've got two pieces of golden honey specialty designer series paper in this black and white floral pattern it's got a gorgeous gold stitch on the back. The pieces are four by two and a quarter and four by four. And then we've got a pretty piece with a little hexagon pattern. It's got bees on the back and hives. This is one inch by four and a quarter. That's for the inside. And then I've got some literal scraps. I've got granny apple green and real red. And then I, I have a two inch circle from basic black and a quarter inch circle from basic black. I have cut a piece of whisper white using my um, layering circles dies, and this is the one and five eighths inch circle, so it's your third smallest one and five eighth inch circle from whisper white. And then I've gone ahead and cut two other whisper white pieces here. We've got this stitched scallop rectangle, and this one is the um, two and 15 sixteenths by four and one sixteenth from Stitched So Sweetly. And then this one is the one and three sixteenths by two and a quarter inch from Stitched So Sweetly. And these are from Whisper White. I did that die cutting ahead of time for us. Last little piece of cardstock here is a scrap of Whisper White, about two by two, whatever you got in scraps will do. Got my Simply Score tool here. And we're going to go ahead and score our card base. We're going to put this in on the 11 inch side and we're going to score at four and a quarter and eight and a half. Pretty simple so far, right? We'll get rid of the simply score tool. I've got my memento tuxedo black ink here and my stamps from this awesome little ladybug stamp set. Isn't that cute? This is a host benefit. It's free with a $300 workshop, whether you share the catalog with friends and collect orders or you order $300 yourself. This is a free stamp set. You can't buy it, but you can earn it from Stampin' Up! during celebration. We're going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink and stamp a couple of images and greetings here. We'll start with that two inch scrap. Um, Mine's a little bit more narrow than two inch. I think my little ladybug's going to fit anyway. Make sure she's inked up real good. Yeah, no problem. And we're going to stamp our little ladybug so we can cut her out. Look at that gorgeous image. Oh my. Now we've got our larger stitched scalloped rectangle. We're going to ink up this little ladybug in flight. And we're going to stamp right in the corner. I'm kind of in the upper left looking like my ladybug has taken flight. Then spread your wings and fly. We're going to ink that guy up and also stamp that inside. There we go. So cute. One last little greeting for the outside of our card. I'm going to ink up Thinking of You and stamp it left of center. And there's our outside greeting.
Now we're going to do some quick coloring. I've got my designer series paper here. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my dark real red Stampin' Blend. And just to add a tiny bit of interest to this paper, of course, you could do much more coloring if you wanted to. I'm just taking the dark real red and filling in the center of these flowers. It just adds the tiniest little subtle pop of color. I liked it. So that's our designer series paper. Now for our little ladies, I'm going to take my light smoky slate and I'm going to fill in their bodies, their little legs, their faces, all with light smoky slate. I didn't want to go too dark. I just wanted to give the impression of a black beetle without blacking out the features or causing the um, bug to be too dark. So I'm going to do in some segments. I did the body, hands, and face. Now I'll go through with some dark smoky slate and just add a little shadow under the wings and along the backside of the face. And then I'll bring those two together. Now for the underside here of the shell, I'm gonna go entirely with the dark smoky slate and same with the little legs. And I'll go back through and add a little second layer shadow. That's how I'm gonna color this little ladybug's face and legs too. Now for our little lady's shells, I'm gonna just fill in around the dots leaving the little white highlights as the artist drew them into the dots, but getting the rest of the wings colored with a base coat of this light real red. Now I'll add a little shadow to the bottom of the wings here. And then along the face too. So we've got kind of um, a swoop. Then where the two come together, just scribble the light to bring the two shades together. That's how I'm gonna color the other wing and the shell. Okay, there we go. We've colored our little ladybugs. Now let's get to finishing up and assembling this card. I'm gonna slide these guys to the side for a little bit. I'm bringing in a two inch circle punch and a bone folder now. We're going to work, we're gonna work the score lines on our card base here. I'm gonna work inside out and then right side in. And here is exactly why I work all my score lines inside out first. Can you see how the cardstock cracked a little bit? Sometimes in dry weather, or under pressure, the fibers in the paper will split and your cardstock will crack. But if you fold your card inside out first and then right side in, now can you see how smooth the outside fold is going to be on this card? So we're gonna fold them now right side in and take our two inch circle punch in your right hand. So from the right side, you're gonna put this first score line all the way into the punch as far as it will go. And then you want to cut this circle in half with the fold. Do you see where that fold is? Like an equator on the circle. I'm gonna go ahead and punch out that circle. I know we're punching right through our card base, right? Don't worry, I promise it will turn out just fine. Let's get some snail adhesive and put a few of these layers together. Um, Putting a few of these layers together will help us keep organized. So I've got our one and five eighths inch circle and I'm adding that centered on our two inch circle. Then let's grab our designer series paper here. So this is the inside of our card. We're gonna fold up the bottom segment of our card and use our four by four piece of designer series paper. And we're going to adhere that with snail centered right inside this panel. Okay, that's one designer series paper. Now we can 
fold that back open. Now let's close the top segment of our card. We're gonna add the designer series paper. We're gonna center that so it has an even border, bottom, left, right, top. And then we'll go ahead, open the card, grab your circle punch again, put the card back into the punch and trim the designer series paper right out from the circle there. So now when we look at the front of our card, we've got a nice smooth opening. Let's flip the bottom panel up, grab your two inch circle. We're going to put adhesive on the bottom half of the circle and be generous. Now we'll pop that right into the open space just a little bit lower because we want to make sure that this will close without any hindrance at all. When you're satisfied, burnish that down. Now we've got our designer series paper for the inside of the card. This is that hexagon pattern. Add a little adhesive and we'll put it on the bottom panel here about a half an inch from the bottom maybe. Let's make sure that we're not gonna cover up too much of it. It's beautiful, I wanna see it. And then we can add our inside panel and burnish everything down. So we've really brought a lot of these elements together now. Let's get the big shot and do some die cutting. Okay, so I've got all my pieces set up here on the big shot platform. And we're gonna go ahead and cut the two leaves from the ladybugs, the flower from the ladybugs dies, and this grass times two. I love that Stampin' Up! has two leaves, two grass in one die set. It means less passes through the machine for me and you. So there's our grass and our leaf elements. And then I'm going to use this little outline die and we're going to cut out this little ladybug. Look at that. We'll do all of our die cutting in one clean pass. All right, here are all of our little parts. Let's collect them. I've got my lady and look at this flower. I hope the camera will pick this up. Look at the pretty detail in the center of that flower. Do you see the little embossing that that die does? The leaf does the same thing. There's a little center line embossed right on the leaf. Cute little flower and leaf die to add to your collection. Here's all of our pieces. One of my little leaves is stuck in the die. We've got little release holes here. So if you just take your take your pick tool with the piercer attachment, you can just pop that right out. Now it's time to finish up this card with the pieces that we've cut. I'm going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue and put it on the back of one of our die cut grass pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put that right on the inside here. See my sample? I must have punched my circle from the left side on the original. Sometimes I can be a little left-handed, but don't tell Jackie that. And this one I punched from the right side when I punched. All right, that's not the first place that we're gonna be different. My little peekaboo here is on the right side on this card, on the left side on this card. On this card, we're gonna use some different ribbon too. We had coffee in a card yesterday and we used up all the black satin, so I thought it'd be fun to try the real red cotton ribbon. This one's from the annual catalog and it's um, a little bit more narrow, but a perfect match. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and tie my ribbon all the way around the inside panel. Look at what a perfect match that is. And then I'm gonna knot the ribbon because we're gonna add the thinking of you on a little tag. So away we go. 
Let's take our thinking of you and we're gonna punch a hole. You can use a 1 8 inch hole here or a quarter inch. Either will should work fine. This ribbon should pass through that 1 8 inch pretty easily. And I'm gonna cut down my ribbon and slide it through the tag. I'm threading both tails from the back to the front. Now we got our little tag. Let's put some dimensionals on the back to secure it. I'm going to change the placement of my tag just a little bit because of the right hand side little peekaboo. And glue down that tag and let's tie our bow now. Ooh, I like the red bow. It's pretty happy. You can dig that. We'll trim the tails. We've got a little bit of embellishing to do. Let's grab a mini dimensional and our flower. I'm going to add a mini dimensional on the bottom half of the flower here. And I'm just going to tuck it right up next to my bow, even over a little bit. So it's a, adhered with the dimensional to the thinking of you tag and just overlaps the bow. Then I'm going to take the leaf and a mini glue dot. Got my mini glue dot. I'm going to add that to the end of the leaf and then just pop it right underneath my flower. For this little guy, since we've got a red flower and a red bow, I'm going to take a second little leaf and add that one on with a mini glue dot too. So same process, grab the mini glue dot and then tuck it right underneath the flower, kind of accent the bow. I'm gonna take a drop of mini multi-purpose liquid glue, add it to the center of my flower, and embellish. We're almost there. Now that last little piece of grass die cut, we're gonna add some glue, and we're gonna add a mini glue dot to the back. So peel the mini glue dot, and we're gonna slide this little grass trim right up underneath our greeting and we'll burnish it down so that it's adhering with the multi-purpose liquid glue to the tag and with the dimensional to the card itself. I think my tails are still just a little bit long. Trim that down a bit. How about one final finishing touch? I've got some of my um, rhinestones basic jewels here and take your pick tool. Let's pick up one of the small size gems and we'll add that right to the center of our flower. There it is. Our thinking of you. Spread your wings and fly. Little peekaboo ladybug card. So what do you think of the variations? Got the black ribbon or the red ribbon, which one do you like better? The left side peek out versus the right side peek out, that was completely accidental. But which one do you like? Let me know, you can comment below. If you've got any questions about the project or the products, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.